Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick little video to test out using Fraps and doing a desktop capture, as well as using my new AVS video editor to make a video for YouTube and then publish it to YouTube. And hopefully this will come up in 1080p, and when you put it in full screen, it will look exactly like as if you were sitting at my computer. So that's my goal. I want to just make my video and audio sound more professional than before. I'm going to try and strip out some of the noise because I don't have a good microphone. But all in all, I just want to try and make really good quality videos. And then in the future, I might start scripting some of my videos and make decent content for once instead of just rambling like I already am. So I'm going to quickly go through for a test video. I'm just going to show around a little bit in Windows 8. So here's what we have so far. I have it booted up in a VM, but it's currently trapped in my debugger. So I'm just going to... Let that go now. Alright. You can go back here. You get a little spinny uh, icon. So it's nothing, nothing too fancy here. Just loading up. Alright. Choose an operating system. For, uh, I picked the one with Virtual KD. I should have stayed at the screen a little bit longer. It was essentially the operating system selector that you have on uh, older versions of Windows, but it's normally at a console level, not, a, not at a graphical level. Here's the main screen. Not the main screen. This is the, like, opening first time you boot your computer main screen. And here's what it is. You drag it up to get rid of it. Okay, cool. It's kind of kind of tablet-y. Then you got a login screen with a portrait of me. Uh, I'm wearing my poker face right there. Then you can just log in. Sometimes the login actually takes quite a long time. I don't know if it actually connects to the internet. Uh, I'm not very familiar with anything to do with the actual uh, layout or design of Windows 8, so I'm just kind of going through this and clicking on stuff to see if anything looks cool. But I, I honestly don't know anything. The only, the only thing I've looked into is the actual kernel of it. So we can click on a simple application, like weather here, pops up. It's kind of neat. I, I like how the text is. It's it's really easy on the eyes. Uh, some, I already set my location here. It updates. You get a little animation in the background with clouds, even though it's midnight or, well, four in the morning, so I don't know why there are clouds and not... Uh, stars like there are for other locations. But here's what you have. Gives you a forecast. Whatever. It's a weather app. Pretty simple. The nice thing is it does actually show you the forecast down below when you close your widget. Um, what else? What else can I rant about? Paint play. It's like the new MS Paint, but uh, more for kids. Th then again, this is I guess this is a little bit easier to use on a tablet because you just smack your massive thumb on there, and then scribble it around. Eh, yeah, kind of neat. Uh, one of the things, you hit the Windows key to go back. That took me forever to figure out. Even though this is the start menu, I, I didn't think it would be Windows key. I thought it would be, like, Escape or something. Uh, we can go into Internet Explorer. And browse the Internet. So, I actually already just went to some random video, and here, here we have Flash working. Come on. Go to some part of the video. Well, this is unnecessary. It's Flash and it works. Okay, cool. Um, then we have Copper here, which is a little game that came through. I just played through it <laughs> a, a little bit. And it seems to be some sort of like a challenge level. It, it's like it, it seems like a chips challenge or something, but 3D. Um... I forgot to turn audio on for this capture, so you can't hear the music, but that's okay, because it's not that great. But the objective is to get to the star. I made it to the star. I won that level. Okay, cool. Um, Guys, playing in the background. All right, no, it's not. Uh, here's the actual desktop. I can open up a quick folder here. Uh, you get a ribbon banner at, up at the top. Uh... I initially thought it was kind of stupid, but honestly, it, it's kind of easy, and it's easier for stupid people to use. So, like, if you're trying to tell your mom how to copy and paste, instead of telling her to go to File and Copy or Control-C on a file, just tell her to hit the big copy button. 
you know, pretty pretty simple. So I I think it's a uh, it's it's for the better. Um, I don't personally agree with it, but you can always just pfft, now it's gone, so you don't have to worry about it. So pretty simple, whatever. And I'm gonna quickly finish the video by installing this fun program. Uh, so you can go back and hit the Windows icon, uh, the Start menu uh, down at the bottom, and it brings you to the actual Start menu. Uh, but here, if you're interested in actually searching for things, you just start typing, and it will search for apps. So in this case, if you have nothing, you'll be able to see everything. And looks like there's a lot of different uh, things, like aircraft. I, I should tr I should try that out. Um, I'll actually do that in a second. But first of all, crap. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm supposed to right-click that. Then you get this little context menu at the bottom, and then run as admin, because I need to be admin for this. Then, yes, SC start, SSDT hook. That will trap into my debugger. Now I've trapped. And continue. Do, 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 do. Did I did I really misclick or something? No. Some something should be going right now. That's that's very interesting. Uh kind of takes the fun out of it. Come on. It shouldn't take this long. Did it trap again? No. Oh, well, there we go. It took long enough, but here's the new blue screen. So, it's really small, so it's kind of hard to read anything, but whatever. You can, uh, at the bottom it says you can search the error code online, system thread exception not handled, SSDT hook.sys. It's kind of nice that it tells you the error and the, uh, actual program that caused it. So, whatever. New blue screen. Kind of cool. Just wanted to show that, make a little test video, so hopefully this will show up on YouTube in perfect quality. So, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll go in depth of Windows 8 again. I know I'll be doing a Windows 8 kernel internals and reversing video. I'm not sure if I'll actually stay at the user level, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not good at that sort of thing. Anyways, hope you like it. See ya.